Hey, what's up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how the Sacred Rihanna went about performing her act on the America's Got Talent live show. So today she performed in the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent. She did a pretty interesting act today on the live shows. So if you haven't seen the video already, be sure to go check out her performance and then come straight back here for the reveal. Uh, but if you have already seen it, then you guys uh, can come here, watch the reveal, and learn how she did the trick. Now, first thing, we do have a giveaway going on the channel as we speak. We are giving away 10 decks of cards of your choice. So you are allowed to pick what deck of card you want, whether it's one of these dragon backs, you can pick a Theory 11 deck, anything like that. Just pick a deck of cards if you win. And then we're also giving away $50 on Amazon. So five ten dollar amazon gift cards if you want to enter that all you gotta do is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below what you like about the channel what you like about the specific video anything like that will suffice and you guys will be straight entered into the giveaway and make sure you turn on your post notifications now thanks to amazon we do have our very own link our very own amazon link all you have to do to find that go in the description it's amazon.com slash shop slash card shuffler 99 basically that is our very own page we put a bunch of recommendations for our favorite playing cards for example you guys can use that link to buy anything you want if you wanted to buy anything on amazon it basically is just amazon uh, but we do put our recommendations up there for some really good deals that we did find so you guys can check that out once again link in the description for that anyway guys let's get straight into this reveal so we're going to be breaking down for you guys the each specific part of the trick. So the first thing she's going to do, she's going to be on stage, and she has this little cloak over her, and then she basically just appears. I guess that's sort of just to set the tone, um, establish herself as she comes out for this performance. Obviously, you know, she goes for that sort of creepy vibe, um, something that, you know, isn't necessarily common in the magic industry. But she's going to do that. She's going to come on, and she has a box set on the, the, the judges panel, right? She's going to have a box there now. In the box, she appears to have a doll, and then she's also going to have a piece of paper. Now, what she does with the piece of paper, she's going to have a picture of the judges panel. She's going to have all the judges on there. And then what she does is she says, um, you know, whatever is looking is coming for you, whatever it is. And then takes, opens up the, uh, the picture again, and Mel B's face was cut out. And then she would end up going back into the box, taking out the doll, and then Mel B's face was on that doll. Now... I'm going to teach you guys exactly how this is done. Now, this is based off a common money magic trick. Uh, this is something that was used in the past. And it basically uses a gimmick that looks something like this. Now, this was traditionally done with dollar bills to make dollar bills change. So what this is, it's essentially a gimmick, okay, where you could basically show something. For example, a piece of paper folded up, okay, and then if you were to flip it over, it would suddenly change right so this is the the essential gimmick right so you can in this case what i'm doing is i'm changing a piece of paper into a playing card now keep in mind that both pictures now this is the gimmick that she's going to set up both her pictures are going to be the same so when you flip it over you're not going to notice a difference now traditionally when the money trick was done you would show one side and then you would do some sort of magical flip where you would like i don't know you can do anything you wanted really and then sort of show hey it changed and then you can open up um, the dollar bill and show that hey it actually did change right so basically it's just the flip and then you reveal it right now this is essentially how it's going to be done so all she has to do is make sure that one so long as uh, let me just explain how this gimmick is I guess made so what you're going to need is two pieces of paper or like I said you can use dollar bills anything like that now they have to be the same size um, in this case I just took a piece of paper and a playing card that were the same size right what you're going to do is you're going to take the playing card or one of the piece of paper, you're going to fold it up into fourths, take both of them actually fold it up into fourths. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of them and you're going to put a piece of double-sided tape. You can use glue, anything you want like that, um, but that's fine. Just use some double-sided tape. I have some double-sided tape right here, so that's an example right there. And what you do is I basically have this folded up into fourths, okay, and I have it taped to one-fourth of the paper, right? Now, all you have to do is then take this piece of paper. You're going to fold this up into fourths so that you have the paper on one side and the card on one side, right? So you don't want them to overlap, okay? So you don't want you don't want it to be like this. It doesn't want to be – you don't want to sandwich it in, okay? You just want it like that. Now, this is how the gimmick is essentially performed, right? So you would start out by showing one, okay? And all she needs is, for example, let's say this was the original picture. 
All she needs for the second picture is for the hole, right, where Mel B's face was to be anywhere that doesn't have this. So her face would be somewhere right here. She would cut that out. That way there actually is a legitimate hole in the paper. Um, if you if the hole was here, obviously you can't see it, right? Because there's the other piece of paper. So that's all she would have to do. So once again, she's going to start out, unfold the first piece of paper, show the picture. She then folds it up. And you notice she legitimately on camera flips the piece of paper over. You can see that. Obviously, you can't tell a difference, right? Because you just assume it's the same piece of paper. Then she's going to proceed to unfold that piece of paper. And that's where you see the hole in the piece of paper, right? And that's where, uh, that's essentially how the trick is done right there. That's where Mel B's face was. Now, you might be wondering at this point, well, how does she get the face to appear on the doll after she showed the doll did not have a face on it? Well, the doll is essentially double-sided. Now, you notice that the doll has a lot of sort of hair, right? It's not, I mean, obviously it's not real hair, but it's going to have a lot of hair. And this is meant to cover the back side. The way this is done is her face is already cut out and taped to the doll. Now, you notice here... She doesn't go near the box. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of camera cuts. We don't know if she goes near the box, technically. But based on what we see in the actual raw video clip, she does not go near the box. So that means if this was legitimately the only doll there, once the doll is inside, all she has to do from there is basically say, okay, all I have to do is now take the doll out and basically flip the hair to the other side and then show the face, right? So obviously, all she has to do is flip the hair from one side to the other and basically say, okay, one side has nothing on it. That's the side I'm going to show first. The hair is going to be on the other side. When she takes that, she's going to put the hair on the other side, and then she can show the face on the doll. Now, that's how that part of the trick is done. So, once again, this is just sort of like a uh, two and two, I guess you could say, in a way, right? She's going to show the one piece of paper, right? Obviously, this is the gimmick. Once again, you can do this to make uh, dollar bills change, anything like that. That's the original trick. That's how it was performed originally. Take it. You can fold it up. Then you're going to want to do some sort of magic flip, anything like that. Obviously, for her, the piece of paper was the same color, so she just flipped it in front of the camera. Nobody noticed. It wasn't really a big deal. Then you flip it over the other way. Bam, it changes, right? Once again, as long as the hole is in a spot that doesn't have this piece of paper here, she's fine. From there, the doll, once again, the piece of paper was already on the doll. The hair was just covering it. All she has to do is then flip the hair to the other side of the doll and then reveal the face. Now, the rest of the trick is going to it's a little confusing okay there was sort of less magic involved in this um uh, but it, it, i guess it was just sort of to you know establish herself right she's sort of a creepy magician right this was essentially all the magic that was here the only other magic that she's going to do is that make simon's doll appear inside the box and then she's also sort of gonna levitate up the wall right now in terms of her climbing up the wall all she's going to do is basically just have a cable, right? I mean, all she has to do is attach a cable. This is something they do all the time to make someone levitate. The cable's there, then they basically float up, and that's essentially it, right? Nothing really there. Now, if you were actually watching the show live, uh, I think a lot of people were confused because it actually just blacked the you know entire sort of screen blacked out. And we just assumed that the lights went out. I mean, I'm sure that's probably what happened. The actual stadium, the lights went out. But then it immediately cut to commercials, so a lot of people were actually really confused. You know, I don't know if they actually cut part of her act out or if that was essentially just the end of her act. Uh, but once again, all she has to do is basically get a cable and it just lifts her up and she just pretends like she's climbing the wall. I mean, I don't know if that's actually magic or what, but she's going to have a bunch of her friends, I guess you could say, you know, creepy lookalikes follow her upstage as she basically climbs up. Now, at that point, that's where the everything goes black and we don't know what happens from there on out. I mean, think about it like this. We go from... Her being on stage climbing up the wall to the screen blacking out to then commercials coming. And then once we're back, she's standing right in front of the judges panel. So we have no idea what happened after that. I mean, we don't know if there was some sort of magic act that happened where she reappeared or I don't know what happened. Right. So that's obviously where the camera cuts come uh, into play. We don't know what happened at that point. The only assumption that we can make is either there's something tricky about the box um, obviously, oh, and also about the box, the fact that it can open, uh, just being a remote control, that's the simplest way to do it, just a button that's going to allow the box to shoot open. But other than that, I mean, we really don't know. I mean, someone could have switched the box out while the lights were out. We don't know how long the lights were out. I mean, obviously, if someone was actually there in theater at the time, you could ask them, but we weren't there. So the lights could have been out for a solid minute and someone could have just switched out the box. We don't know. Um, I mean, but like I said, she did go from being on stage levitating up the wall to then being right in front of the judges panel ready for comments. So we don't really know what happened there. Once again, 
free for your own imagination to, to pick out what happened there. But anyway, guys, that is it for this reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.